Fist of Fury, Champion of Champions. We got a trophy earned. Brawler. Looks like a silver trophy. Experience, 50 points, and the trophies usually don't make it into the record stream. Crowns, 90. New item received, Guestog. Yeah, I'm a witcher. And I'm somebody who beats up a bear with his bare hands. Sure does bear a high price. Isn't that the going joke? You get it? Hello? You guys love that joke. Where are you going? Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh is the time of madness and disdain. We're back with a Witcher who fared quite a bit better in his own arena battle with a bear than a certain Brienne of Tarth in another fantasy universe did with her battle. And I don't see any reason to not keep the ball. Why is this 11th level? The... what the hell? Fist of Fury, Champion of Champions, Skellige, 11th level. <laughs> it was previously 30th level. How the hell did we slip to like a... Th did I complete... Um, Fist of Fury, Skellige... I just, now I have to know, um, was I imagining? No, because my opponents were like 31st level and 29th level, and why the hell did it slip down to 11th level? Sand Hell of Gross Park Brothers. Tower, tower out of nowheres. Yeah, this was 30th level. Um, this is very something. Something even more curious than fighting a bear is about to happen. Okay, um, we're going back to Speakeroog, which is interesting in and of itself. And, uh, oh, you know what? That I wanted to investigate that area. Interesting. All right, so I guess I fast travel, jump on a boat. Travel across, or do I want to check out the countryside there? Maybe I want to check out the countryside rather than uh, just rush into it. Skellige, we need to take it in. We need to absorb it all. And uh, I've already kind of been in a boat in that bay. Here's a stupid question. Is the armor in? <laughs> He's sleeping. I'm going to, I'm going to do things to wake you up. Um, make noise, uh, knock jars, uh, yeah, get up. Where do you go during the day? You need to answer to me. I'm about to argue. I eh, can't do it. Put your damn fire out. Put your windows out. Knock your door down. Get up. Where do you go? And where does the armor and care troll to go after I do business with the blacksmith? All right, well, a little bit of uh, frustration I vented there. That's all right. I needed to do that. It was cathartic. He slept through it all. He doesn't even care. It's a witcher arting down his house and he's still sleeping. And I expect he's going to wake up to do business with me. I really don't know what to expect here. This is... Um, this piqued my interest, if nothing else. What could be the reason for it going down to 11th level? Just so very strange. All right, we're definitely going to harvest. I think uh, all three of you who watched this series knew that was coming. Where I don't know where I'm. I'm, I'm lost already. Fringrave. Uh, I think I'm headed in the right direction now. Ranagrin. And I'm just looking off in the distance there. Right, because that's where I met What's-Her-Face. Is she still there? 
um, crying away about her uh, harpy stolen uh, husband. Honeysuckle. Ah, we got all kinds of wolves. No way, hunt fiber. They may not get aggressive. Honeysuckle, no, they seem to have skulked off into the uh, forest there. Hunt fiber. Oh, one of them's getting a little interested in me. White myrtle petals. Should I see if she's still um, Arenaria? She's still. Nope, it, that's, I'm pretty sure that was her uh, little stoop, her place to stand and mourn the loss of her, uh, I almost remembered his name, it almost came back to my memory, but, uh, Burpena, Honeysuckle, more Honeysuckle, a lot of Honeysuckle been harvesting lately. We are still headed in the right direction. Blowball. Honeysuckle. It's um, a good way to calm my nerves before this strange, what, what I assume is going to be a very strange encounter here. Long group. Wow, really? Next thing you know, I'll be getting Belize fruit when harvesting. On fiber, some Ranagrin dead ahead, and um, new marker Hav, Clan Brokvar Guard. Um, it's uh, real early in the episode to do this, but I'm going to save the game. Okay, Last night let's head into Hav. And see what happens. Genadia petals, Brionia. Brionia is an awfully large plant, is it not? Some Nostrix. Got some good stuff to harvest here. Arenaria. Am I on the right path here? There's another. Um, there's another arena. Crozai that I can't harvest. Rosai. Um, yeah. Okay. Ooh, what? Come on, come closer. Don't be afeard. You're sure to win. What? What? I'm fighting a goat. I fought a bear. Now I'm fighting a ghost. Um, what? What is going on here? Was he the guy? Was he the legendary? No, it was like Ursus or something. Gunnar! Hello again, Gunnar. You, um... You were on Onskellig. Why are you here? You don't look like Gunnar. You look like a different Gunnar. Why are you hiding your face? Drew, what is going on here? With race? Oh, suppose you're better. Shut your gob. He's better than any. That's a witcher there. Listen, it's our arena. We've got a raid that haunts it. Damned if we know how to drive it off. Do you think you could manage? Don't have time for this so long. What exactly is the... This raid. Can they just explain I can it? can probably manage it. Need the details. What do you want to know? Well, we know what the arena is for. It's for fighting. Um, and they're not going to know what kind of wraith we're talking about, but okay. Know anything about this specter? When did it first appear? The granddad told me his granddad said the wraith was called Ula the Unlucky. Lost every bout he entered, <laughs> yet all was recovered from his wounds. Ula weren't even able to die like a man. Till one day, Jarl Hormar called a tournament in the arena. In those days, they drew lots to choose their foes, and the Jarl drew Ula, the unlucky. Jarl was cocksure he'd win, so he mocked Ula, ridiculed him till all in the stands were crying with laughter. <laughs> Finally, he raised his arms in triumph, and that's when Ula, who Ooh. couldn't take it no more, that sounds like a breach of the rules. As he died, Thoma cursed Ula. 
May ye lose again and again for centuries on end. That's what he said. Ever since, Ulis haunted the arena, looking for a fight and getting a few. Mean there have been those who've tried to defeat him? You kidding? Everyone's beating him. <laughs> Bugger keeps coming back, though. Can't organize no normal fights precisely because of that. Um, okay, it's making me ask what the arena's for, but I know what it's for. What kind of an arena is this? It's an arena, like any other. The yeah, question really. was for the best warriors to clash here. Speaker Og boats were famous all across Skellige. Then one day a wraith showed up. How did you know? <laughs> Told you. He's a witcher. A cunning <laughs> man. He knows these things. I think he knows because you just told him. I'll take the job. This arena not interested now. Well... Let's we'll see what we All can do right. about Ola. Could try unlucky. my hand at driving away this specter. Not for free, though. Get it done, and we'll pay you the champion's purse and the premium from our earnings to come. Once the fighting begins, after the curse is lifted. Oh, sure you're not getting carried away there. <laughs> I don't even need the bargain. Lie, but fuck it. Witcher gets rid of the rate. You'll deserve a premium from the earnings. You will. So be it. One time only, though. Sounds reasonable. Wait for me here. Shouldn't be too long. Right, so I get a reward, plus I get a premium. Right? I get, like, royalties or whatever. All right. New quest, Master. There. So what happened to, um... Yeah, I still have... <laughs> okay. Still have this one. Uh, let's... Can we still talk to... Is... Yeah, all of the unlucky is still down there. Let's talk to him. Um, where are you going? Why are you walking Come around? to face the ghost of the arena. Don't be shy. All defeat Ulla the Unlucky. Just spare me your jabber. Your cries of die, wraith, <laughs> and I shall defeat you. Spectre of the arena. I've heard them all a thousand times. Dreadful sick of them. Draw your weapon. You seem bored. Not about to fight you. Yeah, you do seem bored. You're no typical wraith. Why not? Because I don't shriek threats and warn you of your death. Well, that's simple enough. Plain bored of that. Besides, I know how it'll be. You'll spit out some insults, pierce me with your sword, and I'll then disappear, only to be back here again in a few days. And it'll be so with those who come after you. Such is my fate. I'm to tarry here till the world's end. Losing every fight along the way. Well, you know, you did put a knife in a Jarl. But you've not come to chat. Draw it, swing it, get to work, and defeat the ghost of the arena. Okay, draw your weapon. Draw your weapon. Draw in, draw in. But make it quick. And not too much drama if you don't mind. Okay, well, the unlucky. Now you're 14th level. That's all very interesting, isn't it? Uh, what? I guess Erden, because you're a specter, and we need specter oil. Well, you're for somebody who's lost every fight. You're certainly not shy. Uh, superior specter oil. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You almost got me. And, um, do I have any, uh, 20 owl left to take? Yes, I have one more. <laughs> Alright, Erden did not work. That's very interesting. Um, let's get Quinn back up and dodging. What will work with you? Will Ard work? Yeah. Woo! Yeah, that, uh, knocked you on your unlucky butt. Hemdall. <laughs> well done. You done it. Bravo. Be back again <laughs> soon. So long. That was strange. Now, I that seem was to have useless. Others have defeated Ula before me, and he's always come back. Got to think of something else. Okay, but I have. What I'm thinking of is that I have two quests here. 
master of the arena. Find a way to send Ula onto the afterlife. Go to speaker room to find out the, about this. Why is this still on my... All right, let's make this my quest. And let's see where it wants me to go. Um, yeah. Witcher senses witchering. Are there any clues anywhere around here? What about the... Hmm, what about... That's a bad idea, kid. Okay, I defeated him. Greetings. The ghost, what's its what's it? Know like? anything about this specter? When did it first appear? The granddad told me. Yeah. His granddad said the ring till one yeah. day Jarl Horm. Jarl was cocksure he'd win as right. he died. Got it, it. got it, got it, got can. it. Um, tell me a bit about the arena. What kind of an arena is this? No, oh, really. It's an arena, like any other. <laughs> the custom was for the best warriors to clash here. Speaker of boats were famous all across Skellige. Then one day a wraith showed up. How did you know? Told you. He's a witcher. A cunning man. He knows these things. And you guys are wearing mittens, or at least the one guy is. Okay, farewell. Thanks. So long. Um, all right, so this quest wants me to, s to hang out in the arena. Um, what if I lose to Ula? The unlucky. That's an interesting idea, isn't it? Um, what, am I, what if I choose the... All right, the other quest is gone now, I think. No, it's still there. Where does it... It wants me to go this way now. Talk to the bookie. You here to fight for the title of champion? Mm hmm. I'm afraid you'll have to wait. Arena's closed on account of a certain uh, incident. An incident to be examined, conclusions to be drawn so it don't happen again. Okay, quest updated, master of the arena. Um. So this one got updated? Talk with villagers about the problem at the arena. Okay. Um, which, so, yeah, but I, I talked to them. I kind of borked this um, Greetings. quest, didn't I? Okay, um... What kind of an arena is that? It's Let's an arena! The custom was one day or... How did you know? Told you. This is... Uh, I've got two quests. <laughs> know anything about this spe... The granddad... And they keep... One day. Um, sending died. me basically nowhere. I mean, there have been the... You kidding? I have a feeling I have to lose to Ola. Uh, farewell. Thanks. So long. Is he gonna update my quest again for me? No. You guys are who I have to talk to, though. It's telling me I have to talk. Ah, oh, dear. Um, if I choose, what happens? Where does he want me to go now? Wants me to talk to him. Fights is still suspended. Awful sorry. Okay, yeah, but you're your my quest thingy. Um, hmm. What the heck? Talk with villagers about the problem. Okay, hold on a second here. Let's read this. Legend claims the warriors of Spikarug had tested their metal in the arena found near the cliffs on the northwestern edge of the isle for centuries. Sadly, an unfortunate recent event had led to the arena being haunted by the ghost of a defeated warrior. It's a recent event? Geralt agreed to send the wraith off into the afterlife for good. Skelligers love simple entertainments, drinking, singing, and beating each other black and blue. These pastimes require access to public facilities such as inns and arenas. Geralt found such an arena, but instead of Skelligers spilling blood, Within it, within it, there was only a ghost. A phantom was haunting the place and stifling access to this most cherished form of pleasure. 
it needed getting rid of. Can I find them? What if I choose this? Now where does it want me to go? It wants me... That's... Okay, it wants me to go into the arena again, I think. All right. Um, how long before Ula comes back? Uh, I don't have any other clue as to what to do besides um, nice. Foreigner, watch your step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how many times you guys have told me that? No, I'm really not. I'm just running around talking to random uh, Skelligers here. For what reason, I'm not entirely sure, because none of my mini-map quest hints lead me off in any direction but the um, arena. It's raining. Put on your tunic. Seventeen. Uh, what the heck is this? Like um, a well or something for a second there. All right, so Bookie's not telling me anything. Why? So if you know, there, why are you hanging out here, especially in the foul weather? Why are these guys hanging out here? Um, you guys aren't going to tell me anything either. And the other thing is, if I thought it was like a fist fight arena, so if we're allowed to use weapons, why was he cursed for using a weapon? Doesn't none of this none of this adds up. The only thing I can figure is to let Ula defeat me, but is he going to kill me when he defeats me? I take out my silver sword, does he appear? If I meditate, which I need to, um, let's see if he appears. Okay, let's meditate over here. As good a place as any. Do we have anything I should worry? Like, I might have inventory stuff but, um, that I need to sell. I could go waste time doing that. There's no, there's no blacksmith nearby, though, is there? Do I remember selling anything to... Oh, there is. I don't remember visiting him, though. Um, hmm. There's no inn nearby, either, is there? Such things, bad ships are bad women. Only worthless fucking sailors. Talk to the boat, right? <laughs> okay. Um, there's no inn in uh, Hav, is there? Yeah, right, just thinking of selling stuff in the interim. Um. No such thing as bad ships or bad weather. How long do you have to wait before Ula returns? Did he tell me how long? Let's, um, let's meditate a little more. Okay, it is now noontime, and there's no Ula. All right, um, what do I have inventory-wise? Anything? Got a few, I got, I got, um, what was it, Ines? Gwe oh, Guestog, that's right. Ooh, actually, um, that's not so bad for a steel sword, is it? Oops, not what I wanted to do, I wanted to compare it. Quensine intensity goes up, chance to freeze goes up, chance to dismember goes up. And it's got three slots. We will not be selling that. I'm going to think about this one. Get rid of Blood Aid already. So we don't have anything to sell to the blacksmith. 
Oh, but how do I, um, how do I bring Ula back? And the only thing I can think of is I've got to lose to him. Um, he'll be so happy, he'll vanish, right? It's a little humiliating to me, but, um, losing a battle, win the quest kind of thing. Is that a long group? That most certainly is. These continental dandies come a strutting, then we gotta drag their corpses out of the inn. What inn? They don't even have an inn. I look for an inn. A witcher? Yes, I'm a witcher. The swords and gray hair and scars, give it away. Messenger! Greetings. Doesn't want to talk to me. Must be delivering a message to someone in Hop, maybe to Ula. I'm just sort of trying to figure out ways to waste time besides uh, meditating uh, for to give Ula a chance to come back. Well, did he? He probably. Let's fight some. Let's clear out some wolves. Uh, uh, an awful. It looks like there are two packs there. On fiber, print grape. Okay, let's get some superior beast oil on the steel sword. And let's get Quinn up. Wolves aren't bothering anybody. I just uh, need some kind of activity to kill time. So now I'm going to kill them. What now, you piece of filth? Dodging. Oops. Dodging. Oh, getting attacked. Because I think I selected crossbow instead of Quen. Okay, now you can attack me. Thank you. You guys can do that one more time. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Stamina not ready. Okay, and now you guys are ignoring me. Okay, what about that one behind me? Is there one behind me? Yes. Where is he? Are you going to join the pack again and come at me? Hello? Come out of the bushes, please. You missed. Why is Geralt moving away from him? And this... What the heck is going on? There we go. Alright, that's what I was looking for. Now I need regular Quen up. Okay, now I need Igni ready. I need to go quite up again. Alright, I'm taking Tony out because this is. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you snapped one. Oh. <laughs> you have to walk into him, Geralt, to get. Why are you dodging when he can give you Quen Bubble? You're walking. I'm not the one like walking him away from the wolf. He's doing that on his own. Come on. Why do you miss? Why do you miss? I've got to like go at him. And there he goes. Okay, that's good. Now, now regular Quen. Dodging and give me ready. You were annoying, I have to say. White wolf hide, dog tallow. More wolves. We do have Iggy ready, right? Okay, Quinn is down. Quinn back up. Quite working as well as I'd like it to. I know there are more of you somewhere. I think yeah, there you are. Ugly bastard. <laughs> Actually, they're quite lovely beasts. Get out. Don't have to be all derogatory about it. They have their own beauty wolves, I suppose. For one 
ugly white wolf to be disparaging other ugly white wolves, I guess. How many of them are there? And I guess the answer is too many. Raw meat, dog tallow. Dog tallow, wolf's liver. Did I get them all? I have a feeling I did not. Dog tallow, raw meat. Little bunny. Should have some lootable corpsiness, but doesn't. Hellebore petals. And another damn wolf. It almost looks like a gray wolf. Where are you going? Don't run away. Hello? No longer regenerating because Tawny Owl is run out. Wolf's liver, dog tallow. Where is that? There it's. Raw meat, wolf's liver. Now what do I hear? <laughs> there are actually more of them. Unbelievable. All right, where's they? There it is. Nope, it's another buried corpse. Somebody came along and buried it. So I can't loot it longer. So are the wolves, Geralt. I don't know if you noticed, but I think I killed 50 of them. I'm pretty sure. Oops. Really? Wolfsbane. I will find dog tallow. Wolf sliver, raw meat. There's things I can't, that's gonna, that is gonna get old quick. In fact, it already is old. Don't know which of these I can loot, which I can't. White wolf hide, dog tallow. White wolf hide, raw meat. Raw meat, white wolf hide. Raw meat times. Two. Raw meat, white wolf hide. Oops, ran past it. Wolf sliver, raw meat. Up rumbles. Goat hide. All right. Um, more wolves over here. Honeysuckle. No, we've got drowners and harpies and different uh, monsters. Okay, um, they're like running away from me. They're kind of acting like wolves now, ignoring me. Um, you guys, I know you're on like a nature trail hike or something, but um, it's time for that to end. Hello. Your necrophage oil on the silver sword. Where are you going? And how do I catch up to you? Okay, that's one of you. I've got a potpourri of monsters here. This isn't good. Uh, what are you guys going on a hike? What is this? Where are you going? Why are you going there so fast that I can't catch up to you? <laughs> this is rather irritating. Okay. Uh, now I need Quen Bubble. You injured me. And I'm tempted to take Tony Al, but. Thank you. Regular Quen. Nope. Regular Quen. And then I need Igni. I guess I need regular Quen back up, unless I'm going to dodge here. Igni. No Tony Owl, so 
Taking forever to get the stamina back. All right. Now, um, we had kidneys or harpies flying around. Lesser green mutagen, drowner tongue, monster bone. Oops, lute icon. That's getting elusive. Lesser blue mutagen, monster eye, drowner brain. Lesser blue mutagen, monster eye, drowner brain. And one more corpse over here that I don't remember killing. Lesser blue mutagen, monster liver, drowner brain. I must have killed him with a. Uh, Igni Blast. Alright, did that waste enough time for Ula, the uh, miserable or unlucky or whatever he is, to um, come back? Honeysuckle. Wasted enough time for the echidnas and harpies to come back. Crow's Eye. Celandine. All right, I think I'm going to ignore you guys because fighting you on this cliff is just not going to be fun. As long as you're going to ignore me, which almost looks like you're not going to do. Yep, you got over it. You got over the fact that I was in your turf there and uh, kind of went back to flying over the... Um, Ocean puffball. Hunt fiber. This is uh, a lot more harvesting than I planned to do on this episode, but uh, Celandine, that's kind of how me and harvesting uh, work out, isn't it? Never really mean to do as much harvesting as I do, but you know, I just kind of slip into it, especially when you're. Wasting time and waiting for Ula to come back. It's true. Carol is pretty ugly. Oh, I did not waste enough time. Leonia. Um, I'm wondering if I have to come back in like months. Like, how much time do you have to wait for Ula to come back? Fights are still suspended. Awful sorry. Yeah, I see that. All right, I'm going to save the game again. What if I get out of sight of the arena and meditate? Everything's locked, though. Um, let's hang out with the guard here at the edge of town. This should be a fairly safe spot to meditate. Okay, it's 1 a.m. Should be a new day. And... Ula should be back, right? Um, no. Okay, this is getting silly. Uh, I think I know what I have to do, I just don't know how long I have to wait to put the plan into action. All right, so what do I, with that being the case, what do I want? It's not it's still sending me back to that um, overlook. Yeah, it's not, um, nothing has changed. All right, um, quest-wise, I don't think I have much to choose from here. I think we're kind of stuck I'm doing Gwent, the Gwent quest. Oh, wait a second. Did I, uh, nope. Did I have a Witcher contract? Nope. Yeah, um, it's either I do, um, the Gwent, Skellige Gwent quest, or, um, I start checking out 
undiscovered location. Let's go say hi to Ermion. Where does it where does it want me to go to say hi to Ermion? It wants me to go to Care Trollna. No, it wants me to go back to uh, get an eighth. I guess that's where Ermion hangs out with the other uh, druids. Makes sense. All right, let's go play. Uh, Gwent with Ermion. Is he still on the other side of the stage here? That's where I saw him last. How long does he hang out there? Yeah, it looks like he's in the same spot I saw him last time. Nope, he's down below. Got to uh, get at him. Um, through the cave entrances and such. This is this is Ermian's ha Okay, how did I not know that? And what are you, Ermian's, uh, Ermian's buddy there? Praise the Parson Day. <laughs> okay. Witcher? Yep, that's me. Alright, there he is. Uh, good old Ermion. What's that guy's problem? Ermion, what's going on there? Can we talk? Whoa, and why are we outside? Uh, this is all very different. What the hell just happened there? He teleported us outside because he didn't want me to see the ailing um, druid, maybe. All right, let's just get to the round of Gwent out in the rain. Gwent, would you? Certainly. I got my first deck oh, years ago, back in Sintra. Proceeded to teach the game to half of Skellige. Why do you ask? Looking to play? Yes, let's play. Yeah, glad to play around. Have you heard of Ula the Unlucky? Because that's really why I'm here, actually. Alright, is there any tweaking I need to do before playing Ermion? I don't think so. I think we can just get started. He's a monster deck. Interesting. Alright, so that means he's going to have stuff that uh, lasts from round to round, which is slightly irritating, but... Um, no spies, no decoys, two clear weathers, uh, not the greatest deal in the universe. Commander's Horn, don't think I need that. Um, yeah, this is a rotten deal. <laughs> okay. Um, we are just going to... Um, how are you a part of a monster deck? What the hell are you? Emil Regis Rohelic Terziev. Men, the polite ones at least, would call me a monster, a blood drink. Oh, because you're a vampire. Okay. Right. Got it. Um, is there any reason to put up a fight for this? He's going to stay on the board, though. That's the reason. Um, I don't even have a medic. Ah, it's almost like I've got to win this round so that I possibly get a spy or a medic. Mm, damn it. All right, let's not use the special cards, though. Let's, um, let's do a siege. God, this is the crappiest deal I've gotten in, like, the last ten Gwent games. All right, let's put down some Siege and uh, be mindful of Scorch, I guess, but... Um, Triss. Neckers, uh, they're even irritating in Gwent, aren't they? Okay, um, I don't know if this was the best plan of attack here, but uh, I'm in it now. All right, now at least he's got um, less uh, reason to put down Scorch. Um, except everything I want to do now... 
18 to 32. Um, hmm. Let's put down John Metellus. I said I was going to stay away from the special cards, but uh, he passed. All right, so um, I need to get five points. Um, this will give me four points, of course. Um, yeah. He's only got three cards left, though. That is very interesting. Um, four points. It's 31. This takes me up to 36, but gets rid of all my... Hmm. Let's use Commander's Horn. Bit of overkill, but um, we went around and I should get a card and it should be a spy, right? Yeah, my little necker stayed on the... Uh, how come I didn't get a card? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's not so bad, actually. Uh, can I still win this? I think maybe I can. Let's pass. And that way the Necker stays. He only gets two from round to round. I think that's the best outcome. Okay, who starts first? Opponent's turn. That looks bad. Bringer of Death. What did that do? What the hell was that? Oh, we got him a card somehow. Restore a card from your discard pile to your hand. Okay. Bringer of Death sort of brought life. That was interesting. All right, approach. Ah, uh, the damn uh, crones. Oh, he only had one of them. Staying away from Scorch. So we'll put him down. Ah, uh, I think I'm about to get beat up here. Nope, didn't pull anybody out of the deck. Got lucky there. Okay. And, um, yeah, he's got two cards left. He's got one of which is clear weather. That was crap. Now, the other one could be Scorch, and I've got a problem here. Let's, um, let's clear weather ourselves. I'm just, I, I, I gotta keep every advantage here. Or keep every possibility in mind. Ooh, that should be okay. All right, so he's got 30, and I need to get busy here. Can I beat him? 27, I think I can. <laughs> Quick analysis shows me that I can beat him. Wow, I'll tell you what, crappiest deal in history, and I still beat Ermion. All right, there you go. Nice. What card okay. is he going to give me? Hi, congratulations. You have a good deck, but it could use a bit of supplementation. Yes, what are you going to Here, supplement it with? take this card. Thanks. You have a knack for it. So much so, you ought to challenge Krach. I gave him his deck, introduced him to the game. But the pupil has surpassed his master. There's also Grimmest, a vile character, but undeniably talented. Okay, so Croc got Leshen. I right, didn't really want that so much. Um, 25 experience points. And no, we didn't bet any money, eh, Yarmia? All right, what was going on with the Druid in there? We better go back to taking care of him. He sounded sick. I'm going to take a second and save the game. All right, I'm assuming I got... Croc as my next opponent, and I'm also going to assume that's back to care Trolda, right? Or should we just play, let's play uh, Gremist while we're here, and then we'll go uh, see Croc. There's no sense in fast traveling twice, assuming Gremist is in, uh, let's, um, because uh, I'm not sure where exactly. I should be heading here minimap wise. I'm already headed in the wrong. No, my minimap is playing games with my mind. It's playing head games with me.
Okay, does it matter if I do it in the order that uh, Ermine told me to do it? I don't think it does. Okay, Grimace, let's uh, play some Gwen. What do you want, May? I taught you all I know. You haven't taught me how to lose in Gwent, which is what I'm about to make you uh, teach me. To Gwent? Do. Ever play the game? You know what if I'm trying to say. That was interested. the worst attempt at Gwent trash talking I've ever heard. Simple. And it came out of my no. mouth. Yeah, you are afraid you'll lose. Afraid of losing? I understand. Very well. I drove your deck. Win. And I'll give you my best card. <laughs> you know, there are a lot of grumpy people on Skellige, but you do take the cake. Okay, let's start the game, and please give me a good deal. Unlike what you gave me against Ermion. Gwent gods, please. Scorch, it's already starting off a little better. Commander's Horn. Uh, Blue Stripes Commando. Got one Medic. Don't need... We got a decoy. That's good. I need a Spy. So, let's get rid of the Crimson Reaver. And not get a Spy. Damn it. Oh, spies are so essential to my wins, aren't they? Um, he's Nilfgaard. So, Ty goes to him, and does he have the Cancel the Leader card? Pick a Torrential Rain card from your deck and play it instantly. No, he does not. Oh, crap. Um, would you put down a spy? I could get you to try to put down a... You must have a spy. And then I can decoy the spy. And I could use Yen to take um, whatever out of the deck, right? Let's, um, let's put down one siege and see if we'll put down a spy. Opponent has passed. Okay. Interesting. Um, now, we are going to... What are we going to put down? We are going to put down one of these guys, win the round, get a card, and it's going to be a spy. Right? Okay, what do we get? No, medic. All right, that's not the end of the world. Because I can decoy her. We... Ty goes to him. Hmm. Hmm. I've got two cards that I pull out. We both have nine cards. Oh, crap. It doesn't do me any good to pass, does it? Huh. How many cards do I have? Two cards in here. Oh, do I make a stand in the second round? This is the strangest um, strategy, but I don't see that I have any other choice. All right, well, let's keep um, let's keep it low. That damn tiger, that damn tie perk. Okay, what does that do? That's like a Scorch thing, isn't it? Destroy your enemy's strongest close combat units if the combined strength of all of his or her... Okay, that's why it didn't work. Okay, interesting. Um, is there... He's got a... I could... Hmm, interesting. I could do this. Pull this out and still scorch him, is what I'm getting out here. Torrential rain and nasty such and such. All right, um, hmm, and I don't have a clear weather card, but uh, let's go for it here. Scorch. Ooh, should have waited, huh? <laughs> okay, um, well, I could pass, could I not? And, but then my decoy, what do I... 
Let's, um, let's not pass. Let's decoy the medic. And then maybe we'll think of passing. Yeah, wow. Holy such and such. He is... He's used up all his weather cards. I've got one card more than him. I've got both of my medics. I can pull both of my blue stripes commandos out. Let's um, let's pass. This is <laughs> this is a strange Gwent match, is it not? Yeah, yeah, I know he won the round. I got it. Opponent's turn. No. No. What are you pulling out? That damn thing. Okay. Doesn't do you much good, though, does it? Um, okay. Let's get busy here. Still could have Scorch. Could you not? Impenetrable Fog. I don't have anything to put on that row, do I? I don't think I do. Let's pull out... Did he use this leader card or pick a torrential rain card from your deck and play it instantly? I think he already played it, so I don't think he's going to be able to do that. That's in his discard pile now, right? This torrential rain. Did he not? Yeah, he already played his torrential rain, so. Unless he's got two, which he may. <sighs> well, what do I want to do here? Hmm. I think, I think this is what I want to do, I think. <laughs> Keeps me uh, clear of Scorch. Tybor Agarbrecht, okay. Still are clear of Scorch if I do this. <laughs> he passed. All right, I suppose I could pass, but um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pile it on because this is Grimmest, and he totally deserves it. He definitely deserves the pile on. Now I can use two commander's horns here. card will be the other one. Crushed Grimmest. And what were you saying about me not being worth playing or something like you that? Won. I believe you're ready to challenge Madman Lugos. Oh, really? I do wonder if he'll agree to play you for his catacan. New item received mysterious elf. That's interesting. It looked like a um, 25 points, experience points, um, that, I just want to check that one out, that looked, it looked like a, uh, any deck card, looked like a new, mis oh, oh yes, this card is awesome, we are definitely adding that to the deck, now what can we take out of the deck for that, um, I actually don't want to take a spy out because um, I like the idea that I give the spies to um, my opponent and my opponent pulls them, either decoys them or pulls them out of the discard and uses them against me and then I can decoy them, etc, etc. I like that. Uh, two decoys. What can I, what can I get rid of? I'm tempted to get rid of Dandelion since I have the... Let's get rid of Vesemir. Um, and I think that, did I, I did give myself a um, viable, or the, yeah, I have a viable uh, uh, hand there, viable deck that is. Um, okay, save the game. Where is, where is Madman Lugos? Okay, 
Was that not... Is Holger... Uh, Matthias was down there. So it's very strange for... All right, anyway. There's no way to fast travel down there. Let's fast travel to play Croc, though. Fast travel post is up the hill here. Keeping uh, Ule in mind. Ula. And he's in the castle somewhere. Just a matter of finding him. Probably Bravo, in his chambers, swords. right? Best blade's not worth shite if a we Is there anybody in here I need to talk to as well? Clumsy sot. Why are um why am I not getting Is he out on his balcony? Is that why I'm not I don't seem to be heading in the right direction? Oops, he's right. about to run off the ledge there. Uh, just didn't didn't seem like he was in his chambers. So where the hell? Where the hell is he? Have I gone to the wrong spot? No, oh, it's pointing me towards Madman Lugos. I. Didn't want Madman. I want to crack on crate. Chosen. Oops. Okay, so he's um he's up. Alright, I guess I was headed in the right direction. I just doubted myself for some reason. Excuse me a moment. Okay. How do I get to him? here, I guess. Ah, now I have footsteps guiding me. Okay. Should have stuck with my original instincts there. I thought he was in his chambers, and I second-guessed myself. Telling you, Geralt, since you and Yelmer defeated the Ice Giant together, I see you as one of our own. I got the look of a Skelliger. You've got the heart. <laughs> Of an uncrate. There's a, a very familiar uh, soundbite. Care for a game of Gwent, Queen Cirrus, any thoughts? Anything new on the massacre during the feast? What's the situation on the Isles? I think all of that stuff. Can wait. You ever play Gwent? Ha! Ermion taught me the rules and gave me a deck. Wish to play? Let's play. Let's play a quick round. And I think I'm ready to go. I think. Just want to look and make sure my, yep, mysterious elf is uh, in my deck. Let's get started. What kind of deal am I going to get here? Monster deck again. I guess that makes sense since Ermion taught him how to play. And uh, Ermion had a monster deck. At least... I got one spy this time around. This deal. Um, gonna keep the clear weather since it's monsters. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of one Kedwenny Siege Expert. All right, that's nice. What? Um, let's get rid of Dandelion. I don't need Dandelion. Okay, interesting deal. Feel better about this one than um, the previous two deals. Okay, let's put down Stennis. And, yep, we got uh, Commander's Horn and everything there. All right, very good. So one of those guys is going to stay on the uh, board. And I think we can pass. One of the arachnid thingies. Opponent's turn again. Opponent, going, opponent passed. Okay, there you go. So, we will quickly win this with a Grinford Reaver. 
can pass and I'll get another card, right? But the uh, arachnid thing stays on the board again. Ah, another clear weather. Didn't need that. Okay, that's crap. It's my turn. Um, yeah, John Stannis it is, I believe. Always thinking about Scorch, right? Arrakis Behemoth, okay. So, that gives me a little breathing room. Let's put down one Blue Stripes Commando. A little Scorch breathing room, that is. Drog. That's an interesting thing. We're um, not affected by any special... Okay. Some men cannot admit, admit defeat. Some keep fighting from beyond the grave. Okay, so he's some kind of uh, zombie, I guess. And we have a decoy, but I don't have much of anything I'd like to decoy with this particular hand. Maybe he'll put down a um, spy himself. That would be very interesting. Okay, so... We can, what can we put down here? We can put down, let's put down the kid when he's siege expert. And, uh, just sort of kick the can down the road here. Commander Sword. All right, so now we've got a lot of leeway with um, Scorch Worry. What does it, can he, ah, weather card. Okay, so there you go. We'll let him think that um, that's doing me in. Triss, he is, um, he is beating me so far. Um, now we have to worry about Scorch though, do we not? That is quite interesting. Uh, let's use one of our clear weather cards because um, I'm worried about Scorch. Don't want him knocking my uh, Blue Stripes Commando off. Petrible Fog, okay, doesn't matter. Now, uh, what am I pulling out of here? Um, I do Do I want to use Yen yet? I don't think I do. You're, you're gonna go up to eight when I put you down. So let's get that over with. We're still clear of Scorch. And we're winning. Griffin. Okay. Now what? Now what am I? Do I go for Yen now or do I clear weather? Can't use Commander Sworn because that's going to put them at 16 and Scorch is going to be a problem. Ah, oh, crap. If I, yeah, you're going to put me above. Could clear weather though. Hmm. Let's, let's do Yen. That's going to make it look like his uh, weather card is affecting me. Commander's horn, get it. You have one more card. What could it possibly be? Um, hmm. What do I want to do here? It could be. Ah, oh, damn. Could be a weather card, or it could be Scorch, or it could be a spy, and... <laughs> um, I don't want to use any of these cards yet. Damn it. All right, let's just go clear weather. Seems the uh, least troublesome of my choices. Yeah, he passed. Okay, so I won, but uh, I'm going to rub it in. Just so... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did I get deselected off my leader card? That was weird. Just so Croc knows what I'm all about, you know? All right, so now we'll pass. I shouldn't run up the score on Croc, but, um, you know. I'm still uh, I'm still feeling pretty competitive after uh, Gremis, playing Gremis. You're good. Know what, Wolf? I have this rare card here. Take it. It'll be a more use okay, to you. Rare Thanks. Look at that you might mysterious elf card was... a man in Kertrol the village, a worthy adversary, though a mere tailor. Justa's his name. Justa. 
Okay. Drog. All right, that's a monster deck card. Not terribly interested in that, Croc. But I am interested in uh, playing the guy in the village. And I'm going to save the game. So he got added, and yes, Gwent, um, Gwent uh, quests are just like fighting quests. And you keep getting new opponents. You never seem to get to the end of them. And then you meet Ula the Unlucky, and you're really uh, troubled um, as far as... Oh, wait, what am I doing? I want to go this way. And then you'll never... Then you get two quests that'll never get off your uh, quest list. Am I over... No, I can't be overburdened. It's not letting me run. I'm just wondering why it's not letting... Oh, there it goes. Let's go down to find Shusta, and I'm never come close to pronouncing that properly. Hey. Drink last night too. You gotta like uh, wind yourself up. What the? Where, where did you come from? Don't remember seeing anybody on this sitting there like that. That's weird. All right. Anyway. I've got to call the lift. Nope, didn't seem to want to do it. And where exactly is Siusta? You gotta like wind up to pronounce that. All right, he looks like he's um, across from the inn. It's a tailor. Okay. Not looking at the wheel. Not. Uh, not going to second guess the uh, mechanism this time. And it's taking a while to get to the top, isn't it? Not? It was really you, Travis, made his apprentice. Yes. Hmm. The guy who beat the giant, Travis made his uh, apprentice. Um, uh, the guy who beat Travis and Gwent. I'm that guy. I'm just that guy all around. Six a.m. I wonder how Ula's doing. If he's back, waiting for an opponent to lose to. Uh, it's going to be really humiliating if losing to him is um, not how I uh, finish that quest. Okay. Yusta. Actually, once you get used to pronouncing it, it's kind of... Once you get Siusta pronouncing it, <laughs> it's kind of fun. Where the heck is he? Have I ever seen a tailor icon before? I guess he would just show up as a shopkeep, right? Let's go see his house. Um, nope, I'm not in... Oh, there he is. He's right in front of my face, and I didn't see him. Looks like a Gwent player, doesn't he? Greetings. Smooth seas this morn, as if the gods themselves were paying their respects to the great Konung Bran. You a tailor? I am. Only one in the Isles, most like. Yeah, um, Skelligers don't seem to have much use for, uh, tailors. Is I, can you cut my hair? Taylor's cut hair. Okay, so you're a barber too. All right, let's just get to it. We're here to play Gwent. Any chance you play Gwent? Oh, I. It's a great passion. Want to play? Yes, it's also a great passion for me, especially let's when it's on my this. quest list. All right, my my deals. My hands are getting a little better after a deal. Let's see if. Uh, and that trend keeps going, and I get an even better deal this time. I go first. Okay, Decoy, Scorch, Kidwini Siege Expert, two Blue Stripes Commando, two Crimfer Rear. This is a much better deal. I don't even know that I'm going to um, discard anything. I think we can... Uh, Stick with this. So, let's see. It's my turn first, eh? 
Okay, Stennis it is. Ooh. Three Blue Stripes Commandos. That is wonderful. Okay, um, he's Northern Realms, isn't he? Which means he's going to get a card when he wins here. Um, do I want to pass or do I want to... May I don't have... I don't have a um, medic to pull one of my cards out if I put it down. So we have to pass here. Give him the round. And hopefully he throws Prince Stennis back at me so I can decoy him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gets another card. But I'm still up on him card-wise. Yeah, he's going to decoy, uh, or sorry, pull out Stennis. And I'm going to decoy Stennis. All part of the plan. I'm going to have to put down some serious points, though, to win this. <laughs> And we got another, we got two more spies. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. All right, so let's put down, uh, do I have any reason not to put, yeah, because I'm giving him way too many points. And that's a reason why not to put down. All right. He has passed, so I've got to get 20 points here. How do I quickly get 20 points? Um, we'll save you for the next round in case he's got, um, don't have a decoy. If I put you two bozos down, you become 10 each and I get 20. And then I put down one kid Winnie siege expert. Is that how I, is that the fastest way to 20? Um, hmm. would like to wait on you using you 12. Um, 24, if I put down, um, uh, 16 plus, yeah, that's overkill. All right, I guess it's you guys, plus a kid Winnie, uh, Siege Expert, which I have doubles of. And, yeah. Ten cards here, but I'm going to get another one for winning the round. Plus, I've got Deidre. Ah, nice. Got uh, Siri. My turn. Might as well start off with the uh, untouchable stuff. Now, I do have Scorch. Got to keep that in mind. And it would be nice if he put down another five card there. Let me give him Dijkstra now. Medic. Don't know who I'm going to pull out, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, should I wait? See, I'm afraid he's going to put down something that he like, might put down a six card on that row. Let's, um, let's get rid of his... Um, Two sorceresses, shall we? That is Kira, right? Yeah, I'm gonna scorch your sorceresses just like Radovid might. Sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> oh, I could have been a much better scorch, damn it. <laughs> but that was, uh, I couldn't risk it. Okay, so what am I gonna pull out here um, when I put down my medic? guess I'm going to pull out the Grinford Reavers. Am I not? Um, but for now, let's keep dodging his Scorch, shall we? Okay, that bro's going to get a little uh, annoying after a while, but I've got Dandelion for um, a big hit on my combat row. He might have Dandelion too. He might have the, basically he might have my deck is what I'm getting at. 
I still I can put down one of these guys and it'll still be under scorch. Oh, that hurts. Yes, that's that's a problem. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> wow, I, what was that? What was this? Destroy your enemy's strongest siege units if come up. Ah, uh, damn. Should have paid attention to that. Now, he still might have regular Scorch, but I am safe doing this. I think. I hope. Yep, he's got the end the line as well. Even without using uh, my Commander's Horn type cards, though, I'm doing pretty well. All right, let's put down a measly little Kidwini Siege Expert guy. And, uh, Yorpin? Was that who that was? And now I think I can do this and pull out one of my scorched trebuchets. He has passed. So I have won, but I didn't like that uh, scorching. I didn't like learning that lesson the hard way. So, I'm going to teach you a hard lesson here. Look at that. Look at that. And I'm not even finished. You got crushed, pal. You should have to uh, tailor one of my outfits for free. One of my outfits that I don't have. Okay. That is an impressive round point total there. Bravo. A grand win. Congratulations. Okay, what did you give me? Quest updated, Gwent Skellige style. 25 experience points. Yavin. That's looking like a Northern Realms card. Yavin. What the heck was that card? Um, where the heck is it? Did when you see that? Was it not? Did I read it wrong? It wasn't. That, maybe it was. What? It, it's either that or Nilf card. Um. What the heck? Did I just read the card wrong? Was it Yarpin? Couldn't have given me Yarpin. Am I, is it right in front of my face and I don't see it? I'm pretty sure it was something like Yavin, but what? Where did it go? <laughs> was it a, um, oh, wait a second. Was it a leader card? And how do I look at my leader cards? Um... Interesting. Um, I, I'm I'm losing it here. What did he give me? Vesemir, Vess. None of this. None of this looks like it. Was it Scoyatel? Why would he give me Scoyatel stuff when he was playing? Um, Northern Realms. Oh, there it is. There it is right there. That's what he gave me. Yavin. He gave me... It, it looked to me like it had like a little blue helmet on it. It looked like it was going to be Northern Realms. But, all right. That card is kind of crap. But, we are definitely lining the Gwent opponents up and knocking them down. 